Well, a very good morning from Phuket. My name's Tony, welcome back to the channel. Today is Thursday the 13th of June, and I thought I'd bring you over to Carrod, take a look, because I haven't been over here for a while. Now, I remember saying that I was gonna do a video from Caron at night and that is going to be coming in the next few weeks but I thought I'd have a look at Caron in the low season during the day as well got a few hotels just over here I just want to take a quick look and see the position what it's like and how many people are here we're gonna have a quick jump onto the beach first of all have a look at the beach beautiful Caron's beach there And then once we've taken a quick look at the beach, we're going to jump into the main area of Canon and see how busy it is. Time-wise, we're coming up to 11 o'clock in the morning. Now this particular area is quite popular with people staying around here because you've got the old Phuket there, numerous other hotels along this stretch. Easy access onto the beach. And it's not too far a walk if you decide to walk rather than catching a tuk-tuk or taxi into the main area of Caron for the restaurants and the nightlife etc. So we're going to hop into the main area, take a look at that, see whether it's quietened down because of course and now we're in low season, almost the middle of June, so a lot less people here. I'm going to be coming over as I say in the evening time to take a look at the nightlife over here because a lot of people asking about the nightlife here in Caron and of course Qatar as well. You can see they've got some water sports out available if you want to do it. Now there is a bit of a breeze today and a fair old swell as well. Red flags are about as I've said it's your choice really but when the red flags are there it means that it can be very dangerous swimming in the sea but you can see yourselves the red flags are all the way along the beach but there are plenty of people in the sea so even in June there's quite a few people still here you can see the beds there I wouldn't say they're packed but there are definitely some bodies on them Now, a lot of people do drown here in Phuket because they ignore the warning flags, which you can clearly see. So personally, I recommend when the flags are red, not to swim. It is your choice, but you're putting your life on the line for a dip in the sea. I always tell people during low season, with the bad undercurrents, be very, very careful. It is far better if you want to swim to book a hotel with good facilities, such as a, a large swimming pool or maybe two swimming pools and use those swimming pools rather than risk it in the sea. I definitely wouldn't recommend going too far out because you can see the size of the waves and it's quite easy to get swept away. People don't realise just how bad the undercurrents are here and whilst there are lifeguards on this beach they're not every 10 feet. In fact, where's the nearest lifeguard station? Okay, there's one over there. I don't know whether it's manned right at the minute but there's one just there it's not something I recommend to people always people saying can they swim in the sea during the low season well honestly it's not something that I would advise you to do but as I say you have to make the decisions yourself and you can see still fair number of people along the beach The weather today, well, you can see for yourselves, it's reasonable. There is a bit of a breeze, as you can probably see on the flags and the parasols, but we have got quite a bit of sun. A little bit of cloud, not too much. Now, you've probably noticed one thing that I forgot today is my hat. So I don't want to spend too much time here on the beach because of the old bonds getting burnt. It uh, doesn't take long, to be honest, before it gets burnt and also sunstroke. I'm going to make my way now off the beach and we're going to jump over to the town. 
Okay, so we've just hopped into the main part of Caron on the main road. Just behind me is where they have the Caron market that's held on Tuesdays and Fridays. Now, it isn't always on on those days because obviously it's at a temple the market is and sometimes they have something going on at the temple which stops the market from taking place. But normally, if the market's on, you will find it on on a Tuesday and a Friday evening. So what we're going to do is walk down this main road and I'm going to take in the soil that Centara Hotel is actually on because a lot of people are asking me what's happening with this hotel I've just driven past it I think you're gonna find this interesting okay so let's now make our way down here not that busy this morning as I say it's around 11 o'clock maybe just after 11 o'clock now in the morning people are about I was surprised with the beach because the beach has got a few people on obviously people on the beach not in the town at the minute Hello. sorry cap good morning Hello. But there are a few people around and all the shops and restaurants are open as you can see. If you're wondering about that at all, everything is back to normal as I would say. All the businesses are now open on 99.9% of them are or at least that's the way it looks. I shall be coming over as I've already mentioned a couple of times in the evening so you can take a look at what it's like in the evening. If you're considering Caron as a destination to stay it is a very nice area and you do of course have easy access to a kata and patong's not too far away if you want to go and visit patong while you're staying in caron you just carry on down the road to the island and go right and that road will then take you into patong italian restaurant there plenty of places to eat here in caron there's a bar section just down here as well. I don't know whether you can make the Australian bar sign out, but inside, if you go in there, there are a number of bars in there that you can go and have a drink in the evening, entertainment, etc. Some of the bars do have working girls, if that is something that you are looking for. Obviously, if you're in a family, then you might not want to go down that particular soy. restaurant there and then the Australian bar on the opposite side and inside there there are a few more bars as well now I don't know whether they're all open we'll have a look at that when we come in the evening time a few shops place that plays live music so if that is something you like in the evening then you might want to drop in there special discount Chicken pad thai, 100 baht. Well, that's not too bad for a tourist area. Okay, so this is the soil that I was on about. This is where the Centara Hotel is along. Most of the businesses along this side and it carries on round are now open because I've just driven round here before I parked up just to take a quick look at it. You might want to visit this place, the living room. The guy owns it, I know him, he's from the UK. They do some cracking breakfasts in there. Now here we have the Centara Hotel and you can probably see already that the main section of this hotel is being refurbished all the windows are out lots of building going on so i'm guessing that this is not open they do have another section behind here i don't know whether that is actually open or not but there's a few people been asking and saying they've emailed the hotel and they're getting any response etc etc and this is probably the reason why 
you're not getting any ex response because by the looks of it they've got a very large refurbishment underway taking place and I would say this hotel is not currently open they're getting it ready for the end of the year high season I'm guessing so if you're wondering about this hotel there you go now this hotel that we've just been looking at has got some great comments a lot of people love this hotel um, staying there how the quality of the service the rooms etc you know the position of the hotel is all good and I'm guessing by the end of the year the hotel's decor will be first class as well so you might want to look at staying there either the end of this year or next year and you can see quite a big renovation going on there now there are some smaller hotels around here of course if you decide you've got the Hotel Caron I don't know much about it again if you've stayed there then you watch my channel please do drop some comments down below let me know your thoughts because it's always good to get some feedback on these places O'Toole's the Irish bar looks like they've got a lot of workmen working on that hotel because the car park and the motorbike area is all full so very big renovation project <laughs> massage shop there if you want <laughs> so and this soy here that we're coming down to now has got a lot of bars along here both with live music and not so again have a wander around that restaurant on the corner here it's going to make a great place to come and explore in the evening time some smaller hotels hostels as well around this area should you be backpacking or something along those lines and you're looking for cheaper hotel accommodation we've got a Elvis show there so you can see now I know a few years ago this area wasn't looking so great during the Covid time this area here, this soy, this particular one took a real hammer in most of these businesses were empty and derelict but they've all seemed to have come back nice guest house there, not seen that one before the fantastic Caron Beach guest house and bar looks nice the top there looks very nice looks like that's all been done recently So this is a Turkish restaurant now. I remember me and Nat eating here a very, very long time ago, but it wasn't a Turkish restaurant at that time. It was a very nice Thai restaurant. Well, that's changed. Maybe if you're looking to rent somewhere. A few places available around here. The two chefs, of course, I've eaten here, very nice, good place to dine, the two chefs, restaurants, never had a bad meal in there myself. A few small shops, beachwear, accessories, that type of thing, massage around here. So this gives you an idea of what Caron is currently like in low season, because I know some people like to come outside of the high season because of course prices are better and there are more bargains to be had and some people don't like the crowds don't like it when it's very busy and you can see yourself there's there's people about but it's certainly not overcrowded and just down there is the roundabout that I was talking about if you turn right there that will take you to Patong if you go left that will take you along Caron's Beach and into Qatar. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this a short look at Caron during our low season. Please do leave some comments down below. And if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really does help the video and the channel. Now, before you leave, check out this next video because I think you're going to enjoy it.